Hey everybody, welcome back to Woodbugger TCG. Do me a favor, smash that like and subscribe button, and let's get going with today's video. Welcome back, Squatches. Today is the day we're opening up some V-Star Universe. I'm tired, but I just got home from work, and I saw that my V-Star Universe came in, and I can't go to sleep. So we're going to have to crack these open. Now, a lot of people out there are opening up Japanese V-Star Universe. I have Chinese. Why? Well, because they were cheaper. Not going to lie to you. Um, but these did get shipped in from Japan or from China. I do apologize. From China. And as you can see that the, the lettering on here is Chinese and not necessarily Japanese. We went over that a, a little bit in the last, one of the last videos. I'm not sure which one, but we discussed a little bit more. And we'll talk about a little bit more of the differences as we crack into these today. But, man, I am very excited about this. This has been something that I've been looking forward to for quite a long time. It took almost a month to get here. Let's say that. Almost an entire month for these boxes to get to my house from China. And I... Oop, sorry about that. Okay, we're having a little bit of issues with the camera here. Okay, there we go. I am very, very excited about this. And I'm giddy. I can't. Can't explain it any other any other way. I'm I'm giddy. I'm I'm excited. I am very stoked to jump into this. This is, I mean, we all know Crown Zenith just came out a little while ago, and you know we opened up a few. We opened up four ETBs and one of each of the collector boxes of Reggie Gigas and or no, I'm sorry, Regilecki and Reggie Drago. Here is the box art. Now, booster boxes in Japan are a little bit different. For specialty sets, well, Japan, China, anyways, the Asian market, okay, is a little different. For specialty sets like V-Star Universe, or our equivalent would be Crown Zenith, they don't do the 20-pack boosters like they would normally do. They do the 10-pack booster boxes. Now, they do normally do 20-pack booster boxes for standard sets. Here in America, we do 36-pack booster boxes. And we don't do booster boxes for specialty sets. All right, we open it up. First, first flap is just, I mean, basically a, a print of the pack itself. There is code... Bam, right in. And if we wanted to do this right, we would go like so. There we go. And then we would rip these off and we would sell it just like that. All right, but we already have it. We're ready to go. 40 packs of V-Star Universe Chinese cards start right now. God. I am so ecstatic. Now, these ones here, as you can see, uh, like the U.S. used to do, they have the peg holes here. They have the extended tongue. So with these, I open them up from the bottom. Now, V-Star Universe. If you haven't opened up V-Star Universe... What are you doing? <laughs> uh, first thing I'm going to show you is that in China, they have the exact same back as the American cards. So I'll show you. This is a standard Japanese back. Okay, go on. That is a standard Japanese back. And this is the standard American back which China also uses. Now, up until uh, Scarlet and Violet comes out, we have always had yellow borders where 
Japan has this is this is a hollow, so it comes in as silver, but this is it's like a gray border. Now we are also getting this gray border come scarlet and violet. So don't get used to it. This is the equivalent of our code card. And let's roll. Now, in the V-Star universe, at least in the Japanese boxes, there's multiple hits in each pack. So, we're going to have some pretty exciting stuff here. Ladius. Reggie Rock. Mag Mortar. That thing. Something vacuum, I believe. Some, some sort of pelt. Candies, bam, right into a Reggie Gigas V Star. That is awesome. Look at you. Right after that, we have just so excited. Beldum. Ooh, a Radiant Halucha. That is too cool. And then what? China and Jap Japan use as their reverse hollow. Isn't that beautiful? That is just absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pretty stuff. I'm going to go ahead and jump right. Oops. All right. Forgive me. Forgive me. Kind of a kind of sloppy here. All right. Let's go ahead and sleeve these bad boys up. Bam. Go ahead and put that out there. Let's see if we can get this tilted down just a little bit so you guys can see. Still do my hand stuff right there for you. I'm not too worried about the hollows. I probably shouldn't should skip those to save you guys some time. So but I know you guys want to just jump right into these packs, which I do too. I do too. So I will also yell at myself here to just get going get going dude we don't care about all this stuff just open the packs i want to see the cards i get it man i get it totally get it so so it's in energize okay there we go All right, nice. Dialga, all right. Gengar Hollow, Moltres Hollow, followed by the Soul Rock Reverse. Very, very cool. Very cool. I will put the Dialga V in a sleeve. I'll go ahead and move the Hollows over there, center these guys. Now, if you haven't had a chance to open up Asian cards, uh, Japanese, Chinese, these cards are amazing. Like, they feel so much better. The quality in these cards are, like, um, the American cards come nowhere close to the quality that these cards hold. Absolutely nowhere near. Hey, Manaphy. Nice. Or Fanfy. Whatever. Whichever one that is. Ooh! Look there! We got our first art rare. Beautiful. This is absolutely one that I was looking for. Now, the only secret art rare I have from this set is uh, Japan. These are my first Chinese packs. I do have the Drapion secret art rare. Hey, look at that. Garchomp V. Very cool. Eh, whatever. And, eh, whatever. All right. But these two, very cool. Very, very, very cool. These are fantastic. These will make awesome additions to my collection. Welcome home, everybody. Very happy to have you. I am quite the nerd. 
when it comes to Pokemon cards. I just, I like, I love them. I absolutely love these things. They're exciting. The quality of these is just insane now. Damn. Damn. Sorry, guys. I am going to get this focus thing down at some point. If anybody has hints or tips on how to get this, this stuff working better, please pass them along. Klefki. Ooh. Palkia V-Star. Very, very cool. Latios. Regigigas. In a reverse thing. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. All right, let's see. I got to get this guy in, in the sleeve at least. Yeah, Cynthia. That was that one. Cynthia. For some reason, I'm just going to think of it. All right, I don't know all these cards. Okay, guys, come on. Stop. If I sat here and remembered the names of every single one of them. One of these days. Right, get rid of that. Magmite, Lunatone, Magmar. Uh, I think this one is Mountain Peak Stadium or something like that. Um, Colrus's Experiment. Pursuing Heavy Ball. Great card. Hey, Leafeon V. Very cool. Followed by this card. <laughs> Love that. Ooh, that is, that is really cool. I like that. Really cool. Very, very, very cool. Hmm. Okay, so they don't do their rares and, and stuff like Japan does. And obviously no nothing like uh, America does. I'm curious, though, as to how to tell the difference. Oh, okay, they, they, they mark the rare ones. They don't mark the commons and the uncommons. Got it. Got it. I'm scooping what you're duking, dude. So, yeah, this is, what, halfway through the first box? And we're killing it? Come on. This set kicks major butt. Squatches, get out there and get this set. You have to. Like... You absolutely have to do it. And I definitely just ruined a huge surprise here. I don't know exactly what it is, but it does look like we have something very good back here. Something very good. Dark patch. That thing. All right. So I do have this in, in English from Crown Zenith. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool addition to the team. Welcome. Welcome. Mill tank. This is uh, just an art rare. Followed by Ente Super. Oh, secret art, art rare. Secret art rare. Okay, so I love Ente. And this, the artwork on this is just fantastic. This right here is one of my all like top cards in the set. Other than gold cards. Like those, those cards are just obnoxiously cool. But this card right here, wow. That right there is just amazing. Instantly, one of my absolute favorite cards in my collection. Yeah. Professor's things and, and ditto. All right. That is going. Don't ruin it, Jeremy. All right. Don't ruin it. I mean, another thing about these. Uh, these Asian cards is that they are just perfectly centered. Very rarely do you get anything that's not. Very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and throw this right into the top loader. Instantly one of my favorite cards in my collection already. That's beautiful. I had a feeling it was a secret art rare just by, you know, looking at the border. I saw the V up here and I saw the the um, texture. And, you know, oh, man, this is one of the best ones that I could pull, in my opinion. I, just, I, I love Entei. 
love Ente. I've loved Ente since the original Silver and Gold. It's just always he's always been one of my one of my ride and dies, you know. Love love it. Ride or dies. There we go. You know what? Let's get rid of this box. Let's be able to keep track. So that was pack six. We're on pack seven now. What a freaking box this was so far. I mean, come on. V Star Universe. Yes, it's expensive. Yes. It takes a long time to get here. But yes. It's awesome. <laughs> I just realized I haven't really had the mic close to me there, guys. Sorry if that if the first half of this video was pretty bad, but then boom. <sighs> followed up with a V Star Charizard. Amazing. Just amazing. Got the Asuyan Gudra, the guy with the, the, sh the stuff, and that. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and get Charizard in a sleeve. I don't know if anybody here watching is from China and can use that. Dang, look at that Deancey, man. That thing is sick. Dang. Wow. These art rares are just... They, they above and beyond... Just, oh, ooh, full art Roseanne, Roxanne, sorry. Nice. So we got our first full art trainer card. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. It, oh, that's a secret art rare. That's our second secret art rare right there. I didn't even notice that. That is freaking awesome. We got two secret art rares in that box. Put that right over there with the ante. That's, jeez, that pack was loaded. It had a Deancey, a Origin uh, Palkia, and a freaking full art, secret art rare, Roxanne. How freaking cool is that? Jeez. We still have two packs to go. Well worth it. Well worth it. The money was a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but it was worth it. Not as much as the Japanese packs, but you know, it's uh, it's nice to have these cards in my collection now, especially the Entei. That's uh, that's really cool. I'm fangirling crazy, I can't stop like looking over there at that thing. What's up, Ray Ray? We got an Absol, Mill Tank, and a reverse. Dun Dun Sparse, right? Yeah, Dun Sparse. Alright. Let's uh let's put Ray Ray in a sleeve here real quick. Dang, we're almost 20 minutes in. We only got the first box open, y'all. What are we gonna do? We're gonna cut these into two, four separate videos? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. That's what we're that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I think we got another something. I think so. I'm not sure. It actually it could have just been a hollow. It could have just been a hollow. It could it was a very shiny border. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with a hollow. And then if it's something real good, Mirage Gate. Um we'll just be freaking ecstatic with a Zero Zero Aura V Max. I I have this. Do I have this one? Yes, I have this one in English. Uh, freaking awesome, awesome card. Absolutely beautiful. Boss's orders. Uh, Dusclops. Oh, that's right. You get one of these in every box. So one pack in every box will have one of these special, and it's actually a numbered 
uh, energy. This is all. This was also copied by the American set in Crown Zenith. Uh, not as nice as these. Like the the Asian ones are just above and beyond, and they're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. That's cool. That's so cool. All right. All right, guys. Well, that was it. Out of 10, 10 packs. Out of 10 packs, we got. Let's do a let's do a quick recap, right? Quick recap of everything we got. First off, these are all the hollows. Okay. Ten, ten packs, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hollows in ten packs. Eighteen hollows. Freaking obnoxious. Freaking obnoxious. This is it's just silly. Is it bad silly? No, it's not. It's a good silly. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to go right into the, the, the real meat of this, of everything here, right? Okay. The, the Zero Aura VMAX, fantastic card, Charizard V Star, uh, Palkia, or Origin Form Palkia V Star, Regigigas V Star, Ray Ray V, Paki, Palkia V, Leafeon V, Garchomp V. Dialga, V, Radiant Halucha, psh, full art, or I'm sorry, and secret art, or art rare, not secret, art rare DNC, art rare Miltank, uh, Oricoro, Oricola, something like that. The bird, the dancing bird. Yeah. We got the, uh, Secret Rare, Grass Energy, Roxanne, Full Art, and the Creme de la Creme, Top Shelf, you know, Entei V, Secret Art Rare, the most beautiful card I have in my set, my collection. All right, guys, I'm going to, I got to put this stuff away so I can record these other ones. You guys have to wait a week. Thanks to you, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Please hit that like, subscribe button, comment. Tell me, what was your favorite card I pulled today? What was your favorite card that you pulled out of your V-Star sets? Hit me up. Let me know. Thanks, everybody.